Hello everyone. I hope everyone is having a wonderful, blessed day today. Wherever you are on our sweet, wonderful planet, which is very unique. Remember, you are very, very special. Because the Earth is very, very special. So far, scientists have not found any other inhabited planet. We take it for granted because there are so many people on this planet. There are so many animals and other life forms. But you are a unique and special creature of God. Our topic today, as you see what the title says, Israeli scientists claim to create miracle drug that completely cures cancer. It's not naming what type of cancer. So I'm assuming that that cure covers all of them. Skin cancer, lung cancer, liver cancer, pancreatic cancer, the list goes almost to an eternity but we do know if you did your research most the vast majority of light very light skinned people on this planet suffer from a cancer that's the result of their exposure to sunlight the sun basically is not their friend these people suffer from the cancer called melanoma, if I'm correct. The sun is their enemy. A cloudy, dreary day is the best friend of these people. These people, whoever they are, they're not created to walk in, to bask in the radiant rays of the sun for a long extended period of time. Yes, they can take the sunlight for about several hours, one, two, or three hours, but they can't stay in the sun with their skin exposed for six, seven, and eight hours. All right, so like we said, Israeli scientists claim to create miracle drug that completely cures cancer. If this drug was really created, why don't I see the media running up and down the screen street talking about this wonder cure I don't hear it on the radio I don't see it blast on the internet and I definitely don't hear it in the United States media I'm from the United States if it really was a cure for cancer I would hear it and this article was recently posted February the 19th 2019 by Julia Stahl and Emily Jones and I've been looking at the news my favorite channel is Fox News I had not heard a word on this all right so let's let me start reading this article my good friends Jerusalem Israel okay the heart of Israel Jerusalem the city of David the city where the ancient Israelites went every year to celebrate their festivals. The place where the ancient Israelites went to commune with one another for the Passover and all them other wonderful festivals God gave us. A team of Israeli scientists believe, okay, it, it didn't say 100%, they had admitted something like it was 100%. They believe it may, okay, it didn't say it has, it may have found the cure of all cancers to finally find the cure to end all cancers. Now, one more thing. If these people belong in Israel, they will not be suffering from melanoma. They will not be getting any cancer. So, one thing the Arabs can say to the, Israel, the, the Israeli, you don't belong here because if you belong here, you will not be getting no skin cancer. The Arabs can say, see, we dark skin. We're not getting any skin cancer to a large degree. Out of a hundred out of a hundred thousand of us, maybe five got skin cancer. But out of a hundred thousand of you, five thousand, three thousand get skin cancer. We believe we will offer in a year's time a complete cure for cancer. So one year. They did not say how long they was doing their research on this particular wonder cure. Could they have made the cure one year? The research. Could the research have been taking place one year, five years? Who knows? They didn't say 
How long have you been doing the research? Search said Dan Ardor, chairman of the board of Accelerated Evolution Biotechnologies. That's a bold prediction. Yes, it is a bold prediction when you say you can cure cancer. And some scientists are urging caution. But here's how the treatment would work. We didn't want to have another drug like everyone else that will give relief to some cancer patients and then the cancer will come back. So most drugs just give a relief. It don't fully cure the cancer or kill them. It just cut down on the number of uh, cancer cells there to give you a, a couple of days, a couple of hours, or a couple of years of relief. But the cancer is still lurking in your system. We wanted really to cure something like antibiotics. Dr. Alan Moran tells CBN News. So what's this? The Christian Broadcasting Network, not Fox, not NBC, not CNN, not Fox News. No, they're talking to the Christian Broadcasting News, which is not, it's a, it's a major, it's a good news outlet, but it's not the major news outlet. The concept is based on the same strategy used to combat AIDS. Give the patient a cocktail or a mix of medications in order to prevent the disease from becoming resistant to any one drug. Now I'm sure scientists was doing this for years. Let's treat let's treat uh, cancer like HIV or AIDS. This don't seem like no novel, brand new idea to me. Because you know, HIV is very mutagenic creature. Same as cancer. See? Identical to cancer. Close to it. A close relative. They, HIV and cancer, they basically shaking hands. They basically first cousins. This is the problem of cancer. It is very mutagenic. And these mutations help the cancer escape the therapy. Dr. Maraud explains. So cancer is a tough disease. It can mutate on the fly. You kill it one day. Then the next day, it develops a new strain, like the common cold, the flu, they all mutate. <laughs> the Israeli scientists studied why previous cancer drugs fail. One reason why cancer drugs fail is because they only attack one specific target in or on one cancer cell at a time. Mutations in the cancer cells make the anti-cancer drugs ineffective. So like we saw earlier, the cancer cells just mutate, not slowly, rapidly. Maybe in a couple hours or minutes it can mutate that fast. So cancer is a persistent disease. It does not want to die. It want to take over the, 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 your whole body. However, their treatment known as mutatu a weird name or multi-target toxin would use several cancer targeting peptides on a single cell at once along with a cancer destroying toxin so their cure is a cocktail of different drugs and this cocktail will all, will all had that like a boxer their cocktail will each had their time to fight the cancer cell one toxin Toxin A lose, toxin B step up to fight the cancer. Toxin B lose, toxin C step up, like a boxer, like in a boxing ring, like a fight. Dr. Morbat said his miracle drug uses an anti-cancer cocktail to ensure, quote, that the treatment will not be affected by mutations. Cancer cells can mutate, mutate in such a way that the target receptors are dropped by the cancer. The main thing here is the multiple targeting. Like we said, the multi-toxins. So instead of attacking one target at a time, we connect together several peptides and we attack several targets at a time. And because of that, the cancer won't be able, mathematically, statistically, it won't, and that's the, it didn't say factually, statistically. It won't be able to escape the therapy. And this is what happened with AIDS. And this is what ha would happen here in cancer, said Dr. Murad. 
Another reason why cancer drugs fail and the reason Another reason why cancer drugs fail and the disease return is because the drugs do not destroy cancer stem cells. Like, we, like I mentioned earlier, the cancer is not eradicated by the previous drug. It just lessened. It just pacified. Here, here cancer, I'm going to give you these treats so you stop destroying these good cells. So I'm going to calm you down, cancer. You still live it in the body, but I'm going to calm you down. So you can focus on doing something else. I'm going to give you a nice massage. That's what the other drug is basically doing. If it does not completely annihilate, annihilate the cancer, the re remaining cells can start to get mutations again. Okay, the, the cancer, I'm tired of this massage. I'm tired of eating this candy. I'm tired of you telling me jokes. Telling me jokes. So I'm going to go back and kill this body. And then the cancer comes back. But this time, it's drug resistant, Morad said. However, he says, Mutar 2 is small, flexible, and strong enough to both destroy stem cells and penetrate where other drugs cannot reach. This should make the whole molecule non-immunogenic in most cases, and would enable repeated administration of the drug, Murad said. Like I said, one 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 drug fail, another drug another drug step in. Drug C fail, drug D step in. Murad also said, Mutar two will decrease the side effects of taking anti-cancer drugs. So no more getting sick. No more losing your hair. No more chemotherapy, according to him. Quote, dramatically, unquote, because the drug does not target non-cancerous cells. Current cancer drug can destroy non-cancer cells, thus creating something, sometimes severe side effects like sickness, hair loss, weight loss, changing of the skin the list goes on and on and on with these side effects of the current cancer drugs since this cocktail specifically target cancer cells it isn't as harmful to healthy ones quote the other thing is because this targeting peptides are connected together and there's what we call the affinity effect the side effect will be much 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 more lower so it be it would be like an antibiotic and an antibiotic as you know ladies and gentlemen does not cause any type of severe side effects you may get a, a sneeze here maybe a little skin itching but no side effects that severely destructive to the human body Morad said if scientists could come up with a hundred different peptides let me read that again Morad said, if scientists could, so that means, hey, wait a minute. He said he had the cure. Now he's placing it on other scientists, coming up with a hundred different peptides. He said he had the cure. Now he's saying, if scientists, other scientists could come up with a hundred different peptides. They believe various combinations could treat each kind of cancer. Once more, he's saying he believe. That's not a hundred percent proof. In the beginning of the article, he said we made a cure. Now he's saying I believe. Mutar two is also a personalized drug, so that means it fits a particular people. It's individualized. That means cancer patients can give a biopsy to the lab. The scientists will analyze it and give the patient a personalized cocktail of Mutar 2 that will specifically destroy their particular cancer. Each patient will get his own Mutar 2 that will fit perfectly his cancer so it's custom made for you ladies and gentlemen. That's unique. He would have almost no side effects and in no time be cured specifically 
because the cancer cells will be completely killed. Every one of them, he said. Okay, now these same suckers right here, he said he would have almost no suckers. He didn't say she would or they would. Hmm. Well, Rad said they have five peptides in the pre preclinical stage. When their research came out, it caught the medical community by surprise, especially because AEBI experiments have been limited and not published in, in any medical journal. So they have not published not one thing on the progress of their so-called cure. They, one day they was unknown, and the next day they popped up and said, we got the cure for cancer. Without quoting anything in medical journals, without going through the scientific process. No one knows anything about their so-called cure. AEBI has successfully tested the drug in mice. Now they will soon move forward with clinical trials and will make treatment available with a f within a few years. How many years? 5, 10, 20? If Mutar 2 is successful, now they're saying if it's successful. In the beginning, it said we got the cure. We got the cure for cancer. Now he's saying if Mutar 2 is successful, it has the potential to revolutionize cancer treatment and give Hope to millions of people who are diagnosed each year. Yes. Millions of people, especially who get pulverized by the sun, who get that melanoma. The main cancer that plagues the light-skinned people on the planet. However, some scientists aren't, conv aren't convinced of AEBI's claims. Charles... Gaia, MD, Associate Director for Clinical Research at VCM, I mean VCU, Macy Cancer Center, totes CBN News. We are hope, we all hope that a cure for cancer will be found. But cancer is a co complex family of disease, and de like I said, complex family: pancreatic cancer, lung cancer, throat cancer. The list goes on and on and on. It's a complex family of diseases, and there is a history of similar claims. Okay, many people have said we got the wonder cure. They have unfortunately spread false hope to many patients and their loved ones. This news is based on limited information from the company and its researcher. Remember, they had not put anything in any medical scientific journals. And the results from their preclinical pre experiments have not been published in any peer-reviewed academic journals. I would approach this news with healthy skepticism and also remind people that it typically takes years to translate promising preclinical research from the laboratory to evaluation in the clinic, unquote. Morad said he was surprised by the criticism. Why not? You a medical doctor. You haven't published anything in the journal, so you should be ready for the uh, criticism. Telling the CBN News, at least give me the credit. The credit for what? Throughout this article, you kept saying, if, I believe, maybe. You ain't give no concrete facts, no concrete evidence. Ask me what is the mechanism of our Mutar 2, or read carefully the first article in the Jerusalem Post to see what I really say. Okay, not the United States Medical Journal, not the German Medical Journal, not the African Medical Journal. The journal is only in Jerusalem, Israel, where the Arabs are hard on their back, claiming you don't belong over there. You're not the true Israelite people. Well, Rad said they need funding. Okay, well, now we need help to move their research along faster and would like to collaborate with larger pharmaceutical companies. So, this is a, okay, a small time pharma, pharmaceutical company said we got the cure. He also made clear that one goal on his mind quote, I don't care about the money. Yeah, right. 
sure you don't. I just want to cure cancer patients. So, that concludes the article, my good friends. Tell me what you all think. You think this is legit? You think this is factual? Or you think this is just a bunch of hearsay leading people on that Israeli scientists claim to create a miracle drug that completely cures cancer? They need this cure to have the Muslim and other people yelling out, you don't belong over here because you're getting cancer over here. The Israelites who were there for a thousand years, they did not have sunscreen, they did not have no sun protector, and they lived there for a thousand of years. Nowhere did we ever hear in history that the people had cancer. When we hear, when we hear about them finding ancient Israelites skeletons, now one time did we hear them say, this person died of melanoma cancer. So, tell me what y'all think. If you like the article, give me a thumbs up. Take care. Read the Torah, read the Bible, and keep praying. Farewell.